Hello everyone, this is Dr. Boyd. Welcome to Parently. Today we're going to talk about cervical cerclage, specifically McDonald cervical cerclage. Now, what is a cerclage? Why do we place a cerclage? First of all, it's important to understand the history of why a cerclage is placed. Many women, when they are examined in the early part of their pregnancy, their doctor, their provider is examining the length of their cervix. And oftentimes when we do your first several ultrasounds, when we measure the baby at six, seven, eight weeks of gestation, we're also measuring the cervical length. The normal cervical length is about four to five centimeters in length. So that means it's that long. And today we're gonna to use a prop, and this is your uterus. I know it doesn't necessarily look like a uterus, but for our video, this is our uterus. The baby sits up here in the uterus. And I'm gonna show you our baby because it's important for you to understand what a baby looks like. This is a blue baby. Now it's not very handsome, but this is my grandson's. So this is a Smurf baby. This baby goes inside the uterus and grows. The cervix, usually for most women, is about four to five centimeters in length. So it's this long. The uterus is up here, the cervix is here. As clinical people though, we kind of consider this two different structures, but in all respective purposes, it's one organ. Now, if your cervix were to become short, that means the cervical length goes from four to five centimeters down to three centimeters, two centimeters, and then the cervix starts to dilate that can cause this baby to be delivered. That is an incompetent cervix. So it's silent dilatation of your cervix. That means you don't perceive it. It's different than preterm labor. Preterm labor is labor that you feel, just like if it's at 40 weeks, you feel it in a premature fashion, 26, 27, 28 weeks, all the way up till 38 weeks, by definition, is called preterm labor. If your cervix opens, and you're having active contractions that are painful, that is preterm labor. That is different than an incompetent cervix. An incompetent cervix is silent dilatation without the perception of uterine contractions. This usually happens in the second trimester. You come to the hospital, you come to the doctor's office, you have some spotting, they examine your cervix, they measure your cervix, and it's short or it's dilated. If you get to the hospital soon enough, we can do what's called a rescue cerclage. A rescue cerclage means it's an emergency situation and we're trying to close the cervix before you deliver. Unfortunately, many women don't get to the hospital soon enough. They deliver their baby prematurely and their baby is not viable. Retrospectively, we say, Mrs. Smith, you have an incompetent cervix. Next pregnancy, we want to place a cerclage. That cerclage usually is placed between 12 and 14 weeks for most women. There's two types of cerclages. There's an abdominal cerclage and there's a cervical cerclage. Most providers do the cervical cerclage. And the reason they do the cervical cerclage is because an abdominal cerclage is done through the abdomen. That means you have to make an incision or you place it laparoscopically and the cerclage remains throughout your lifetime until you're done having babies. A cervical cerclage is placed through the vagina, a stitch around the cervix, and it's placed with each pregnancy. So it's placed 12 to 14 weeks. We remove it around 36 weeks. Unless you were to go into labor, then we would remove it when you're in labor. But usually it's removed around 36 weeks. How do we place it? You come to the hospital, you have a spinal or you have an epidural. Again, you're 12 to 14 weeks. The doctor places a speculum, very similar to if you're having a pap smear, and they simply run a suture around the cervix. The suture looks like a shoelace. It's about the same width as a white shoelace. It's called a Mersaline suture. That's what most doctors place. And what it does is it takes this cervix and pulls it closed and gives support to the cervix so that the cervix starts to dilate, that baby doesn't come and deliver. Now again, it's an invasive procedure, but it's the best procedure at preventing subsequent babies from delivering early. It's been around for a long time. 
It was na named after a doctor, McDonald, so it's called a McDonald cervical cerclage. It's not a fun procedure. There's a lot of angst, but it's the best when you've lost an early baby in a previous pregnancy. I hope that was helpful. I hope this aid was helpful in your mind understanding what a cerclage is and how it's placed. Have a great day.